Hi everyone, this is Big Daddy from Alliance 123. Welcome to a new video. It's actually been a while. I've been busy with live personal stuff that's, uh, yeah, dealing with some personal stuff. So, uh, welcome again. And today I wanted to have a look at the dragon. So, dragon is radiant tyrim. Tyrim. <laughs> I swear to God, like, Evany just randomly comes up with names. Like, the t they could have just kept it simple. Look, I like the color of the dragon. It reminds me of Amaterasu, the ground uh, dragon that you get from All Stars. So, I unlocked it. I wasn't really planning to, but um, I thought, why not? He's got some nice uh, debuffs, uh, which, of course, you need to level him up a lot. Uh, but still, uh, I am a sucker for debuff. So, and another thing is you can uh, activate this in Battlefield, the NCD Mountain Troop Attack uh, buff for the, um, you know, the wall. And so I was like, yeah, it's going to cost me. It is expensive. Uh, and I had to do the whole, uh, whole 300 spins. Some from my alliance, actually two people from my alliance got the dragon uh, with literally one pack, like few spins and they got it. And uh, I am super jealous and I, I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping that I don't have to do the whole 300 spins. But unfortunately, I had to do the whole bit. So uh, I bought four packs in total uh, with some, um, you know, Android discount. So it cost me like uh, in USD probably around... Um, about three hundred and fifty-five dollars or three sixty. Um, I used one triple, one double, and then uh, sorry, two triples and two doubles. Um, so it is what it is. But what I've been recently thinking, in case, and this is for people who do not have Fossault, uh He is a really, really good um, Cav general, and I do kind of wish I had him. Uh, but unfortunately, I only have a uh, Jauzar, and he is—he's not bad. Uh, he's a strange one, like uh, Evany when they release, uh, sometimes release new dragons in the pasture. I feel like they kind of don't have any direction. It's like a mix of things. So when J Jauzar came out, he, as you can see, he's got range attack, mounted ac attack, um, and you can technically use him for either and then when you go into uh, his uh, talents as you can see you can uh, get range attack mounted hp and then then some randomly you on the second one you have in cd range and in cd mounted which is it, i mean you can use him on the wall of course he's got uh, he's got decent um, buffs for the wall but um Thebes, personally, I like Thebes a lot. If you're heavy on Siege, uh, it it helps having Thebes on the wall. So I prefer to have him. So what I've been doing with Jauza is I use him as my Cav General. As you can see, he's um, Cav General's Dragon. So he's, he's for Marco Polo. And I've been uh, you know trying to increase this one more than anything. But it's got Mountain HP. But you know with Refines and this leveling up, I get a decent bit of, um, you know, mounted attack. But recently, I have been thinking, this guy, if you look at his uh, total, like, yes, um, he's, he's leaning more towards Cav. Um, and I was like, maybe I can use him as a Cav general. So if you have the dr this dragon and a Jauza, this is actually realistically, I haven't properly refined him uh, to all gold uh, because he's just level 3, so I'm not going to change yet. But I'm thinking, uh, given that the first talent is mounted troop defense, right? And a decent debuffs. And then in the second one, it's got subordinate, a subordinate city and enemy siege defense. This I'll not really maximize uh, until I, I move him to um, my sub. But in the third one, you again got marching ground, uh, mounted troop defense. And of course, the in-city mounted troop attack that you can uh, activate the skill or talent. 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, heavily leaning towards defense, but uh, as we saw here, uh, as you level him up, you're going to get mounted uh, marching uh, cav defense HP, and then I think they add on uh, siege HP debuff as well. And um, this is a decent dragon or a basic dragon that you can um, use on your cav. Uh, and with the refines you're not gonna lose much if you're using um if you're using jaza right uh, bec uh you're not gonna lose much attack you're gonna gain a lot of defense and hp buffs actually from leveling him up and his first talent and his third uh talent so i am gonna make the switch and i'm gonna put jaza on my siege general now um if you don't have jaza right and you're using fafnir for your um cav general but you're also trying to uh, to build a siege general on the side that is also something you can do so um you can actually put radiant on your cav and switch out to um switch out fafnir uh, and put him on your siege general um on your siege general for me, my thinking is at the moment, I would rather have uh, Radiant on my Cav. I like him. I'm going to put Jaza on my re Reinforcing uh, Archer General uh, because he's got a Ranged Troop Attack here. Uh, he's got Ranged Troop Attack here as well. And I will also refine this to Ranged Troop Attack. So that's nice uh, if I need to reinforce and stuff and I'm in a rally in Battlefield. I have uh, archer marches that I rain people with. Uh, he will add quite a bit of buffs. And uh, these are universal buffs, so they will work during attack and um, also reinforcing. So that's what I'm thinking until I get uh, maybe uh, or one day when that happens. Until I get this guy, which is would be the most ideal, which is Nidhogg. Um, he would just be perfect. My attack... HP buffs would look amazing and March size with Marco Polo and Washington combination that would be really really amazing um, So that's what I'm thinking he and this is the dragon I was talking about of course Amaterasu is uh, more like a snake looking dragon um, But that's what radiant looks like kind of so if you're in that position where you got the dragon I assume a lot of people won't and Honestly, as I said, I didn't plan to, but then I kind of, kind of also formed. Um, I've been trying to unlock this uh, decoration. I know it's ridiculous, and the buffs are not that much. But when you maximize uh, six dragons, which I have already f five at level uh, over level fifteen, just need one more to level fifteen. I can unlock this one. So yeah. And I wanted to get the new champion. The reason being, uh, she's got range troop and siege machine HP uh, buffs, which is something I really, really want. Uh, the defending ground troop and mounted troop defense and HP is also very nice uh, because it's both defense and HP, and that would be nice. Uh, but this uh, range troop and siege machine HP. So while getting the dragon, it was like, you know, two birds with one stone. Uh, while I had to do the whole 300 spins, I ended up uh, caking to level 5 where uh, the champion was. Uh, so nowadays, uh, or for a while now, Evan has been doing that. You have to do level 5, as you can see here. And so this way I got the dragon, I got the new champion. Uh, of course, it's going to take a while to level him up, but... Uh, it is what it is. Um, I thought it might be helpful for someone who's uh, maybe in the same position trying to make a, um, you know, like a guess at as to which dragon should go where. Um, yeah, so that's why I made the video. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and I should be back to making more videos, uh, hopefully. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, if you find this uh, video helpful, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, thank you all, and I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.